All right, I want to show you how to do random numbers. So I have created this random program, and I'm going to show you how to generate, well, random numbers. So first of all, um, there are two things you need to do. You need to, well, include the library that has the random numbers. So that would be the C STD LIB, so C standard library. And then in order to actually be able to use it well, you're going to want to um, seed your random number generation. So include C, C time, and we'll get to that one in a moment. So first I want to show you how to generate random numbers. So in order to get a random number, so I'll do int num equals rand. So that will generate a random number and I can print out my random number right here instead of hello world. So I do no. So I print that out and I run it. And what happens is it prints out the number 41. Okay. So I run it again. So you'd never number, and it is still 41. So I run it again and it gets 41. So I need to seed the random number generator. So I will use the srand command, srand, to seed my random number generator, and I'll give it the number 25. So that will give it a different place to start in its number, random number generation. So instead of 41, it should be a different number. So I'll run this, and it's 120, which is good. So I run it again, but it's 120. So you can see that all the seeding does is starts at a different place. Well, I want it to start at a different place each time I run it, not just a different place from what it would have started without being seeded. So what I usually do is use something random like the clock, which is not really random, but we'll go ahead and pretend it is and use that to seed it. So I will use an unsigned int for my seed. So it's my seed and I'm going to assign it the value from the time. So I will do a static cast of an unsigned int so that what I get back from the time function time when I pass it a null pointer is now an unsigned int for my seed. And then instead of this being 25, I can actually pass it the number seed. So here I will seed my random number generator. Seed the random number generator. All right. Then I'm going to generate my random numbers right here. Generate random numbers. All right. So now I'm going to see what happens when I run it. So I run this thing and I get 29095. I run it again and I get 29115. And I run it again and I get 29131. So the numbers are different, which is important, but they are not hugely different. They're just different. All right. So now I wanted to do a clock. So in order to do a clock, I need to have some numbers, right? I need to have an hour and I need to have a minute. So min equals rand. And let's even have the AM PM. So int AM PM. And we'll just call that, just make a, a regular number and we'll plug that in the end. All right. So now I want to display each of these pieces individually so that I can show you how to format them. So I'll do hour and I don't want to end the line right here because that would be well bad. I'll just put a colon at the end and then I'll do SCD C out and I wanted to display minute And I'll have a space here after that. And then I want to do STD 
Well, this one, um, I want to do an if statement. So we'll worry about that in a moment. So right now I'm just going to display the hour and the minute. So if I go ahead and run this, well, it's, it's got this giant hour and a giant minute. Okay, that's great. The hour really needs to be between the numbers of, well, 1 and 12, right? <clears throat> so the way you do it is first you figure out how many possible numbers there are. And there are 12 possible numbers. So I'll do a percent 12. And then I want to figure out what the base number is, the lowest number, and that is 1. So I'll do plus 1. Because without the plus 1, when I do percent 12, it actually generates numbers from 0 to 11. And then I add 1 to it, so which makes it 1 to 12. So for minutes, I want to do percent 60 because there are 60 possible minutes. And I want the first minute to be a 1. All right. So now I will go ahead and run this and see if it works better. And you can see 315. All right. That's looking pretty good. Run it again. And it's 741. That's good. Run it again. And it's 87. That doesn't look like a time. That looks weird. So what I'm going to do is do some other stuff to format it and make it look better. And for my formatting, I want to include another library. So I'll include, include the IO man eep. IO manipulator. All right. So I am now going to manipulate this right here. I want to have a fill variable set. So I will go ahead and do std c out and I'm going to put my std set fill character to a well a zero. So what that does is it makes it so that it will fill it with zeros. All right. And I think I want both the hour and the minute to be set to a width of two characters. Well, maybe just the minute. So I will go ahead and use a set W for that. So do set W and make it two. What that does is it sets the width of this so that it is now two characters and then displays the minute. So I'll go ahead and run this. And you can see, uh, that's not what I wanted. I guess I don't really want the minutes to be uh, that. All right, actually they want to go from zero to 59. All right, now I'll run this again. And I got 1051. Run it again. 317. Run it again. 134. Run it again. 200. Zero, zero. So that is exactly what we wanted to see. Something like that. Now I have this AM PM thing. And the AM PM can be either well an AM or PM, which means there's two possibilities. So I'll do a percent two. And now what I'll do down here is I will display either AM or PM. So I'll do an if statement. If AM PM equals zero, then I'm going to, let's go ahead and put this in curly braces, STD, C out. Let's print out P, uh, AM, and then we will go ahead and do a, an end line. If it's not else, then we're going to do STD C out PM STD and L. All right. So what this should do now is print out the hour, the minutes, and then either AM or PM and end the line. So I'll go ahead and run this. 
and you get 10 19 a.m run it again you get 5 54 a.m run it again and you get 10 28 a.m so it looks like it's running pretty good so this is now my random clock generator so i just put um a few more things here display the clock and there you go i hope that helps you figure out how to do random number generation and to randomly generate numbers